Last August, FlexiSpot sent us their E8 standing desk for review, and whilst we initially thought it might be a bit of a gimmick, in that video we explained how it could possibly be one of the best investments you make in your studio. FlexiSpot currently have a Black Friday deal on both the desk and their new BS10, which they also kindly sent us to review, so we thought we'd revisit both the desk and see how it's held up to pretty vigorous abuse over the past year, and take a look at the new chair. Let's cover the E8 standing desk first. Our first impressions of the FlexiSpot E8 were excellent, with ease of setup, use, and fantastic build quality immediately apparent. I was quite shocked at the ease with which the desk just lifted up the top of our Hammond C3, which weighs far in excess of 100 kilos, and it also showed no signs of strain lifting either James or the enormous Argosy-inspired studio desk we built for it, even with two sets of near-field monitors placed on top. Since then, the poor old thing has suffered some serious abuse in the studio, having been used for just about anything you could think of apart from actually being a desk. It's been motorised speaker stands, the aforementioned ridiculous keyboard stand, and it even saw duty as a forklift when Nige suggested we could use it to help soffit mount the ATC SCM 200s in James's editing room, something it didn't even flinch at. For the past few months, it's been serving me admirably as a workbench, getting covered in dust and debris and not caring at all, and it's fantastic when you want a low surface for soaring or something at eye level for soldering and more intricate duties, and not once has it broken or even needed resetting. These things are really, really built very, very well indeed. But how easy are they to assemble? I thought it was easy, but give James a screwdriver or an Allen wrench and he's likely to poke himself in the face with them before managing to get anything put together. So let's see how he gets on assembling it whilst I relax and watch on with a cup of tea and the can. Sniff this. Considering this is step one, that's really badly in line. There's no way I've got that wrong already. <laughs> that not go on the other side. Well, they go on both. No, I mean, on the bottom. Well, that's not what the picture looks like. Oh yeah. Ah, sloppy, why'd you do that? Step two, it's all the lifting column on them. D. D for damn, I hate putting things together. <laughs> I hate building things. Can I suggest what might have been an easier way to do that? What? Just put the frame upside down on the floor and put the, le <laughs> put the legs in from above. C, that's Spanish for bolt. I was about to die from overheating. I've got 150,000 layers on. Where did it fit? Oh, it's upside down. In. It's f***ing lined up. Go in. That's a bit of pressure, man. I am. I couldn't push any harder. I'll go through the centre of the earth. I don't like building things. I'm gonna go for meltdown. <laughs> okay, I hate any kind of DIY, and that's because I'm just no good at it. But even I managed to get this together pretty easily. FlexiSpot have kindly sent this E8, this time with a gorgeous white frame and ebony tabletop, because we thought so highly of the last one. Whilst FlexiSpot offer their ESD1 desk specifically designed for studios, that's a little big for us and we just don't need the keyboard support, so with this we want to make, or rather Mark wants to make, a small desk suitable for our new Atmos room with a few shallow rack spaces for a control surface such as the SSL UF8, an interface, the Trinov, a single screen, volume controller, keyboard, mouse, and that's about it. It also needs to be as acoustically transparent as possible, so if you have any ideas for that then let us know in the comments or on our Discord, or send us an email and we'll make it and feature it in a future video. But let's talk about 
This, the BS-10. Mark is still in love with his Herman Miller Aeron, the studio classic, but I personally actually find that a little uncomfortable for long editing periods, so ordered the BS-10 from Flexispot to try it out. And, spoiler alert, I love it, far more than the Aeron. Coming in at around £400 in the UK, this thing is built like a tank, it's easily height adjustable with the two multifunction handles, offers great lumbar support and an adjustable headrest, movable armrests and it's super comfy, offering fantastic back support with a beautifully padded seat and backrest. It's got a kind of cool Stormtrooper vibe going on as well and a nice wood detail which we really love. So James loves his new chair and I'm excited to see how we can adapt this new E8 desk. This video isn't sponsored by Flexispot, they haven't paid us for a good review, although they did send us both the desk, oop, and I burped, and the chair, but you know us by now, if something's crap, we'll tell you. But we really wanted to follow up on our first standing desk video because the E8 has been absolutely incredible in the time we've had it and our initial first impressions on the build quality held up to long-term scrutiny. It actually seems pretty much indestructible and has performed far beyond its intended function. Although we of course don't recommend that you start getting Hammond organs out the back of a van or lifting concrete blocks with one. The health benefits of both sitting and standing whilst working through the day are now well proven so i'm excited to come up with a design for this as a desk mm, in our atmos room and the white frame really matches our new speakers quite nicely as well so thank you flexispot there's a lot of crap out there in the world sub rate products built to a price but not this this really is first class thanks for watching leave us your ideas for desktop design in the comments below and you'll see us in the next one